Okay, so now, uh, after knowing the expression of the budget line, we want to see what happens when there is a parallel shift in both our present and future production functions. So these two increase. So x increases, and that is there is a shift of our budget line. And at a higher indifference curve, both present and future consumption have increased. Now we know that we have a pure income effect, and if consumption is normal and leisure is normal, then both uh, present and future consumption will increase, and also present leisure and pres and future leisure will increase, bringing down the amount of work today and the amount of work tomorrow, partially upsetting the initial uh, shock in output. But now the interesting case, what happens when there is a positive shock in the, uh, the interest rate? That is, when uh, there is an increase in the real price of consumption between two periods. Now, the opportunity cost of consuming today is higher because each unit of consumption that you leave uh, for tomorrow, that is, uh, each unit you save, will yield a higher uh, interest rate in the future, will pay you more. Because you know that if you lend more, then you will receive more money now, because the interest rate is higher. So, at the present time, you will be willing to consume a little bit less, save a little bit more, in the form of bonds, which will become your sources of funds in the next period. But since they're paid a little bit more because of the increase in the interest rate, then you will be able to consume more in the future. So you're shifting consumption to the future. And you save more today to be able to do that. That is what we call the intertemporal substitution effect. There is an increase in the interest rate, so now uh, your budget line will be steeper. The slope is higher. Now we will go farther up into a new uh, uh, indifference curve with uh, lower present consumption and higher future consumption. So, after increasing R, we see that there is an intertemporal substitution effect Present consumption goes down and future consumption goes up with respect to uh, consumption now. And leisure today uh, is more expensive uh, than leisure tomorrow. Because now you can work more and uh, get, pa get paid more in the future. So you will want to save more. That is why leisure is more expensive. So you decrease leisure now, you increase uh, uh, the workload today. And since today you're working more but, but consuming less, you are actually saving more for the future. And in the future you will be able to relax and work less and consume more. Now, is there an income effect? Well, if we look at the individuals, if the individual happens to be a borrower, an increase in the interest rate means that he has to pay more in the future for the money he's borrowing now. So it will be a negative income effect for him. But if you are a lender, that means that you will be uh, paid more interest. So it is actually a positive income effect for you. But on aggregate, both cancel out and uh, the, the income effect is actually zero. There is no income effect on aggregate after an increase in the interest rate.